Hi there, all you nice people out there. Mr. Mahuda back with you again. And our lesson today is mask making. We're going to make it out of colored construction paper, and you'll be able to choose any color you want to go along with your mask. Say, just thinking about it for a moment, who wear masks? And African people have made masks. They made them out of wood or metal. Mm -hmm. You see some in Hawaii, Alaska, right? And you do too on Halloween time. And why do you wear them? It makes you feel something different when the mask is in front of you, right? <laughs> the mask could be going, and you could be inside laughing. <laughs> it's all right. We're going to be making those. Let me pick out my paper now. I've got a piece of a 12 by 18 construction. And by the way, you can do it this way or this way. Depends on whether you want to make the mask real wide or real tall and thin. I'll make mine tall and thin now. Fold my paper over. Get my edges nice and even. That's something you should always practice. And you come down and crush your paper and fold it over. Right. Now, if you look at me again, you'll see that I'm going to measure my face a little bit. From the top of my head to my chin, as I start to come down, we find that the middle of my head and your head, too, is just about where your eyes and the top of your bridge of your nose is. So I want to identify that part of my paper so I don't make my mask too low to the paper or too high. So what I'll do now, I'll take my piece of paper and fold it, not all the way in half, just a little bit of a pinch mark there, then raise it up. Yes, this is on the folded edge. That's right. And then when I bring it up to my face, I'm going to do the drawing right here. All right, my eye comes above, so I want to be able to wear this. I want to put my eye right there. What kind of eye? Big and round, scary, all kinds of different ways you may want to do your eye, right there. How many noses do I draw? I drew one eye. Two noses, one nose. <laughs> All right. Half of a mouth. Well, we'll see now as I go to work on mine. Lay my paper down. And here we'll go. Mm, I think I'll make my eye straight across the top this time and curve it down this way. Uh, and then right where my nose comes here, straight over and across. I tell you what, let me cut my eye out now, and we'll see if I can wear it where it'll fit me. Now, by the way, in case you boys and girls have a blunt pair of scissors where it doesn't have a sharp point, you do this then. Put your scissors down your paper and raise it. Because if you hold it like this and you work trying to go through, you know, you may punch into your hand. That'll hurt. So raise your paper. There we go. I'm going to show you a little different technique as I go along. You think I'm cutting the eye out, and I am, but I'm going to have this piece of paper here that we normally cut off. Watch now as I take, and I'll put some slices in it. You try and guess what I'm doing. Oh, you folks are so smart. Yeah. <laughs> Venetian blinds looks like to me right now. All right. I'm going to open my face. And, whoops, I can't see through yet, so let me raise this a little bit. Let's see if I can see through. Ah, I can see through there, all right. Because I want you to be able to wear this mask, too. Okay, let's go to our nose. And this is not really cut off. We cut along the line. Okay, leave it hooked right there. That's going to keep it there. If it should come off, though, no problem, because you can just go ahead and put a different nose, a different color, longer nose, all kind of ways to work this out. Now, since my eye looks kind of mean, I think I'll make a mean mouth. Curve it down. Right, a half a mouth. That's right. If you put a whole mouth here and cut it out and open your face, you're going to have two mouths. <laughs> That's happened before. Nice full cut with your scissors. Now you save all your scrap paper that you're cutting out because you're going to give this to your buddy in class and he may exchange. You may pick up a piece that you may want to do. You see if I take and might fit on somebody like that? Great. Okay, eyebrows. Now, this side is the part that I've been drawing on, but I'm going to now turn my mask around. Well, not yet. Let me do... I'll go ahead. I want to try this on so you can see how the whole thing kind of fits for a moment. All right. 
The mouth doesn't have to come in the right spot, just as long as I can see through. Let me decide now what I'll do to the rest of my face. See, many times when you've done pictures like this before, you've drawn the shape of the head first. Now we've got these parts done. Ah, let's see. He's got kind of hair like this, and then he's got a big ear that sticks up over there, and then curls. Way down. And there's my mask. Again, now I'll take and I'll start to cut these parts out. And you save all your spare parts. Because all those come off in pairs. Because you have a double sheet of paper here. Learn to do something else, too, if you want. Instead of taking your scissors and trying to turn around in here, you may tear it. Cut into your paper. Start from the edge. Did I remind you, I'd better had, that this was the folded part of your paper from the center part of your face? Because if you didn't do that when you're doing your lesson, you're going to end up with two half faces. <laughs> Someone says I missed the line a little bit. Well, you know, whenever I draw my chalk on my paper, that's an, an indication of where I ought to cut. But the thing is, we're going to have the other side of the paper be our mask, and so if I go off the line and change my mind a little bit, that's perfectly all right. All right, here we go. <laughs> Am I cutting fast enough? Take your time. You've got more time to do yours when you do it. I go a little fast, and I got a little bigger. Larger pair of scissors, possibly. There we go. Now these parts come over here. Now let me take and you see the shape of my mask. And I am going to turn it around the other way. I'll raise the nose up a little bit and then fold it back down so it sticks up there, it sticks out a little bit. Now I'll bring it to my face one more time. Whoops, I got to get those eyes out there, right? And here I'll go and I'll put it on. Uh, I feel very special now. Now it comes the time for the decoration. I told you about this eyelashes. Let me do that for a second. I'm going to turn it on the back side, and I'll just color those, because I want to have black eyelashes, so I'll color those. And when I curl them out, boy, you're going to have fun with this. You really, really are going to have fun with this. You make one, you want to make another one, so forth. All right, cut it up there. Now, as I turn it on this side, you can take a, your chalk and roll around the chalk or around a pencil. If you want your eyelashes to kind of be wild, bring them up like this. Again, kind of look, <laughs> check with your buddy. Is that going OK? How about some teeth? All right. If you want your teeth to be uneven, you can go along and make some longer teeth. Here we go. Notice that I'm cutting these out without drawing it now. Because as I do this, uh, I, I find I have more fun in uh, getting something drawn or cut out like this without drawing it ahead of time. Because when I go to hook it on, it's a little wilder, wilder looking. <laughs> Right there in the front. All right, my glue. Put it along the top of your teeth. And I'll just spread that out a little bit. Raise up your lip. There's some teeth there, OK? And mustache. Yes, mustache is like the mouth. So if you take and fold it in half and cut just half of a mustache, That'll come out, right? Here we go. And curly, curly. Yes, I hear someone saying, oh, I really would like to draw it, Mr. Mahuda. I'm afraid I might make a mistake. If you do draw it, you draw it and then turn it around so the chalk mark doesn't show. Yes, you could do that. I just say it's fun over here to do it this way. Hey, there we go. How's that mustache look? 
And since it sticks out and it's curly a little bit, you can curl it around your scissors. There we go, here we go. All right. I've got this. Let's just go for an extra pair of eyebrows here. Big black eyebrows. And I'll, I can make those, uh, have some extra lines. Let's see how I should do that there. Now, I've just so far been using my black and green paper. I got a little white. Yes, you can use some additional colors. And scoring, right, you can score something. Scoring is a technique of taking your scissors. I'll turn this around. So I can go inside my ear and use the point of the scissor and scratch that. And scratch that so that when I raise it up, it'll bend right where I scratched it. Mm -hmm. Yes, you think of all now. We got mustaches, teeth, horns, fangs. I can put some additional eyes inside there. Little ping pong pals. The kids call them in school. The case where I'll take and uh, just oh, let's see. You'll see when I get it all made here. It'll make the little eye stick out. A little tiny like a ping pong paddle. <laughs> and then I will take and get those two little eyes and paste them behind here so I can have the eyes there beside that. Now, you see how it looks there? I can go ahead and keep doing other things to it and polka dots and bandages and whatever the, the mask might be that you're doing. Let me try around for a second. All right. You've been seeing behind me something that uh, I'm working on a little bit of a totem pole. I'll take some of my masking tape and uh, curl the masking tape so that it comes back. The sticky parts on the outside. Curl it around so the sticky parts on the outside. And then, someplace in the middle where the ears might be, now this one has the ears high, I'll put the sticky masking tape, and then I'll come up to my pull. You may have a pull like this in your school, or you can get one, and put one right on top of the other one, get it behind his tongue a little bit, and hook it up there. And so as you go ahead, you can have yourself in school a beautiful totem pole made of all your different masks. You can wear that at home, and uh, for the holidays, bring it back and make your totem pole. Ah, I tell you what, I'm going to take him off for a second because I want to say so long to you. This all could also can stick to your face. Ta ta. See you next time.